All right, here we are in the intensive care unit. From Oklahoma to Idaho. My patients, when they come to me, they have this look in their eye, this absolute fear. And to Missouri. We had three patients die today. And that's just hard. ICU doctors and nurses are trying to get the word out that COVID-19 may be invisible to a lot of us, but it's real. So what's been the toughest part of all of this? Breathing. Breathing. COVID-19 patients used to spend an average of over 20 days in the ICUs. Now the average is around six days. But that's still three times the average stay of ICU patients overall. And COVID-19 patients are tougher to treat than most ICU patients. Look how many pumps. This is one patient. This is one patient. That just tells you most people watching this have probably never had more than one IV in the of time, much less... Two, four, six, eight, ten. Multiply that by 212 in Utah ICUs right now. Three and a half times the number in three months. 40% of their patients have COVID with the longer stays, the complex needs, and the higher precautions they require. And then they hear on the radio or TV or even among friends, it's all overblown. We go home with sore feet and sore faces and it's perfectly fine because that's, we do it because we love it. And to hear that we're lying, is, it just makes your shoulders just slump down. It's so, I don't understand, you know, I don't. There are lots of people out there who know a lot about COVID and there are lots of people out there who think they know a lot about COVID. Well, Utah's ICUs are also burdened because of our place as the major population center for this vast region of the country. The most critical patients come here to Utah, not just from all over the state, but from all over the Intermountain West. Live in the newsroom, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.